guys, good morning to you all. As you notice, I've shaved. I'm gone clean shaven just because I do it like once a year, feel like changing things up and it was time for a change. I feel much better. You know, this nation was under attack 15 years ago today and um, a lot of men, women, and children lost their lives, uh, both on airplanes and in the World Trade Center, Pentagon. Um, also, we lost a lot of good uh, service members, firefighters, police officers, and the military who helped out. Um, but this nation came together and stood united, and we're stronger for it now, 15 years later. Um, but still, a tragedy like that can stay in your mind for years and years, and the pain can never go away. So many people were affected by it. And here I am in New York, for the first time in my life, happens to be now, and it, 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 it all it's not that it all of a sudden feels real, but definitely uh, my heart goes out to everyone affected by that tragedy. Um, and I think uh, we all need to find somebody we love, hold them dearly today, and be thankful for what we have. Um, so yeah, I just want to take a moment of silence real quick. Also, let's see, today is a really awesome, exciting day for me <laughs> uh, because I get to see someone uh, very special to me. Um, I get to see Morgan and we get to hang out in person. It's been a little tricky doing this uh, long distance communication, texting and stuff and talking on the phone. But I just want to reassure everybody, you know, I know I'm a really emotional person and I deleted a lot of that video when she left and people still were able to read me, I guess, read my eyes and read my feelings. But I just want to let everybody know, I'm fine, we've been fine. Um, I, we've just come to realize that we can't share every detail and we don't want to share every detail of our lives together. Um, that's what's going to make us happy. And my YouTube channel is going to remain the same. I'm going to continue to live in an RV and share my experiences. And um, for the next few months, it's going to be looking pretty much normal to everybody. And if something different changes after that, um, of course, I'm not going to hide it from you guys. It's going to be pretty obvious if things change. So uh, with that said, I just want everybody to know I'm happy. Um, I'm in a great mood. I'm, I'm not, I've not been saddened the last couple weeks, the last week, even though it's been a little rough on me. Um, I'm happy today. So that's all that matters. Today matters. So uh, I need to clean up the RV real quick um, before Morgan gets here, and then we're going to go hang out and um, explore uh, Rochester and uh, spend the weekend. So, here we go. Well, Morgan's arrived, and we have found our spot where we're hanging out this morning. Uh, one of the benefits to having a, um, a vehicle that gets better gas mileage is uh, if we want to go explore, you can leave the RV somewhere and save a lot of gas. Um, to get to some of these places and visit a few more spots. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We'll see. I don't know what, where we're going to go. We're in the, like the Rochester area or Iron Dequa area. Um, so see where we go. So I think the name of this park we're trying to find is Lechtwerk Worth Park or something like that. Anyway, the reason uh, we're taking the Jeep is because of these low clearances all over the place. This one is 9 feet 10 inches. So obviously we wouldn't have made it in my RV anyway. At 1,000 feet, so, turn right, oh well. then turn right. So once we got into the park, I uh, had to drive 15 miles. There's a lot to this park, but 15 miles to get to the visitor center here. And we'll get some information in the map. Uh, it does say, thank you for voting Leckworth State Park, America's number one park. So that's pretty interesting. We'll go in and get a map and find out exactly what's going on. They call this place the uh, Grand Canyon of the East here in New York. So really excited to see some of these views. But we're gonna hang out and look in the gift shop here real quick to see what they got. Oh, we got some cool magnets here. <laughs> There's on the floor. Ziggy, you leading the way, buddy? Where are we going? It's over here. We're on our way to, uh, our first stop is Inspiration Point here. Well, there's waterfall uh, over there, and yes, we will uh, get closer to them over there, but you can see the water. 
What do you think, Ziggy? Oh. What do you think, guy? If you like hiking, this park has 66 miles of possible trail for you to walk in the park. Here's a picture of William Lechtworth. I guess the park's named after. Is it a bowler? I don't know. No, she doesn't know if it's a bowler, but look at that paint color scheme. It's pretty cool. I think it is. I believe this part's called the like Middle Falls, so the water's running this way. And I'll lean over the edge here as much as I can so you can see down there. Uh, we're going to head towards that part of the falls. Get to the edge here and see how far that water actually goes down. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> you spoiled rotten. I got Niagara Falls a couple days ago, and now I got this. Wow. Well, I don't know what this one's called, but uh, the bridge falls big over there. Let's see if we can get a little closer over there. And those people, for the record, they are off trail. They are setting a very bad example for the rest of the people here. That's too bad. Some people might say that the train trussel is actually an eyesore on top of the waterfall over there, but I, I feel like it gives it character. I think it looks really neat over there. Obviously, uh, no drones here. It's a state park, and all New York state parks don't allow drones. <laughs> so just keep kind of walking uphill the path and it, there's just all these different little lookouts you can see up there just continues look over the edge here look at that Right the time when they show up. <laughs> well, at least I got trouble. I haven't been naming all these little places that we've been pulling off of. I'm sorry, I just forgot. I've been just taking in all the. This is Wolf Creek, this particular little area right here. And I think there's also the water goes over the edge over there. I'll see if I can get up here a little higher in a minute. But yeah, not always the best tour guide because I don't give the names for everything. I told you the name of the park, but uh, it's a neat little bridge right here. Look at that. That is really cool. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Wow. I can see why this is voted the best state park in the entire country. I guess it's not really a, a waterfall at the edge of that. It's kind of a, a wet slope there. But, oh my gosh, look at that phantom drone down there. 
See that white copter down there? That is a $1,300 crashed DJI Phantom quadcopter. Yep, somebody, uh, somebody's feeling that pain. Well, everybody, I had a great couple days. Um, unfortunately, Morgan has once again uh, gone back to Canada. Um, I'm happy that right now, being in upstate New York, she has the ability, at least, uh, to come down here. Um, so as I continue to kind of stay close to the Canada border, I may get a couple other opportunities before I get to Maine uh, to physically hang out with her. Uh, until then, no sad goodbyes, just, hey, We'll text you later, and I will see you next time. And that's that's how I'm going to be able to keep a, a good attitude on the road while Jax and I kind of continue on without her temporarily. You know, this, this park, though, in particular, Letchworth or Letchworth State Park, you know, um, I found that, well, we found that by reading comments on my channel uh, from viewers like you. And, and a lot of times that's exactly what happens and I get inspired because somebody who's from that area comments and says, Eric, don't miss this. Um, I may not get a chance to reply to everybody, but certainly more than a few dozen people told me and Morgan about Letchworth State Park. And I agree. It was well worth it. Um, so, I mean, I really rely on you guys as much as you rely on me uh, for giving tips and, and pointers and maybe stuff that I wouldn't want to miss. That's really important. And of course, you know, day to day when I'm traveling, part of my motivation to to continue on this channel at all, at all is is the fact that I get support from people who watch that maybe can't visit some of these places or um, maybe they're like thinking about other places. So my video is kind of like a teaser to what you can see in person. Certainly, I can't capture the beauty of every place. Um, no matter how hard I try, but I do try sometimes, often, I try really, really hard, just so you guys know, but, uh, Jax and I are pretty much going to be back on our own here for a couple months, um, and in a couple days here, or at least in less than a week, I want to talk to you guys about my next, uh, we'll call it the leg of the trip, you know, because I've only talked to you really so far about going as far as Maine, um, I haven't shared a lot of the details of the po the possible route, heading south from there in the fall, which I'm really excited about. But for right now, I'm gonna stay off the main highways as I go through New York. I'm kinda eyeing I-20 and, um, is it Highway 20 or Interstate 20? I'm not, it's not Interstate. Interstate 20 is way down south. It must be, anyway, 20 east through New York to uh, hit another couple locations. I don't wanna talk about them right now, because uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but I am reading comments, and I appreciate all of the uh, heads up and hints, um, so we'll see. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Jax, you want to say anything? Like, meow meow? Like, you're happy to... Oh, he's drooling all over me. You're drooling. You're drooling on me, Jax. <laughs> all right, guys, have a good day, and I'll see you in a couple days. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.